Attention! Travis, you find yourself here today, members of the newly founded Pirate Legend Academy. We will put you through rigorous training, the art of shooting cannons, stealing stuff from other pirates, and of course, making a buttload of gold. Before we set out on this journey today, I need... Swabby, what are you doing, boy? I'm trying to catch a fish, sir. With your hands? Yup. That, Swabby's, is what we're dealing with today. Moving on. I need you to be brave. I need you to be fearless. And most importantly, uh... remember... Son, did you just fart during my speech? I'm sorry, General. I'm just really nervous. Well, there's nothing wrong with being a little nervous, son. Just don't let that fart follow through and we'll be okay. About that? Did you just catch a fish with your hands? Yes, sir. Well, it seems you might be more capable than I initially thought. Back to what I was saying. I need you to be brave. I need you to be fearless. And more importantly, I need you to remember, it's Mighty Morphin Pirate Legend time. The Sea of Thieves' fifth anniversary is here, and to celebrate, we've been given a community weekend. So, to celebrate this anniversary in style, Sumo and I pulled five random members of the community and took them on an adventure to become a pirate legend. First, we needed some pirates who were not yet pirate legends, so we hopped over to Sea of Thieves' partner behaving beardy so he could help us find some worthy pirates. Good day, UK. How's it going? Do we have anyone in chat who, on their main Sea of Thieves account, is not pirate legend yet? and can jump into game right now so UK and crew can try and get as many people to Pirate Legend on today, Community Day. Within minutes of Beardley's recruitment, we had our first swabby, Night Drift, who just decided to die when he landed on the ship. Not off to a good start. I hate it, does that. <laughs> Night Drift, he got a warm welcome anyway. When every pirate came aboard our ship, we asked them to send us their levels. Night Drift was 52 gold hoarder, 36 merchant, and 39 order of souls. All we had to do here was take them to 49 merchant and 49 order of souls, then purchase the remaining level and promotions, which will allow them to accept the shanty of legends. Our first event of the day was a regular skull fort. And with the Fort of Fortunes being so popular with Season 9's update, we knew we would be okay completing the fort without any trouble. But in Sea of Thieves style, we had a sloop at the next island over that might be swimming in our direction. I also see a brig behind, further past the sloop. The sloop's now moving, but I see a brig behind the sloop. Right, we could finish up here and then head over to the Fort of the Damned. When it comes to loot for the day, we'll be focusing on world events, including shrines, treasuries, and scally ship spawns, and maybe the odd voyage too. This will allow us to start stacking a nice amount of loot, which in turn will help snowball the loot onto the next pirate aboard our ship. With our first world event wrapped up, we sailed over to steal a quick Fort of the Damned. Right, so these guys have been doing this the entire time we were completing that fort. They have to be new players. Right, okay. Sumo, shoot yourself over to the sloop and then look for kegs. So I'm gonna sail around the right side of the island. Uh, I've got the mega, they've got the mega kegs still there. I'm just gonna try and keg this galleon coming in. Oh, there goes the ship. Oh, you kegged him? Right, I'm coming over as well. I'm going up to get a mega keg. Right, killed one, killed one. I have a mega keg here. Right, light it, light it, light it, light it! Kaboom! I, I hear a swimmer. Oh, it's a mega keg! He had a mega keg! <laughs> Nobody's seen that! Nobody's seen that! I just saved the day! <laughs> Did you kill the guy? Yeah, yeah, he's dead. He's dead. Oh, you lord. And with that close encounter, we secured ourselves a Fort of the Damned loot. With this being the first five of the Pirate Legends to help, we had to push on a little faster. Next up was the Ghost Slate event. On our journey to the next destination, we had two more PvE encounters. A Skelly Galley spawned up on us, which we took care of pretty quickly. These are super easy to defeat with a few crewmates. Basically, one on cannon and the other one boards the ship and defends the holds. As soon as we took out the Skelly Galley, a Meg also spawned on us. We weren't complaining though, as we needed every piece of loot we could get our hands on to help push the Swabbies to Pirate Legend. If you don't remember this event, it was originally Flameheart, which was removed in February 2022 and reintroduced into the game as part of the Season 9 update, only this time with a tornado rather than Flameheart's head. 
This event is fantastic for allowing players to work on their cannon aim. So if you feel you're lacking some cannon skill, head over to one of these fleet events. At this point, we were making good progress and already had a significant amount of loot on board. With Night Drift needing another 10 levels in order of souls, we were currently a grade 5 emissary and ready to sail. We had to be very precise with how much loot we wanted to sell as we only needed to hit level 49. Since you can purchase one level per month, we used this to save a little loot so we could pass it on to the next player on board. All right, check, 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 check. What are you? 48. 48. Uh, and how close are you to 49? I have a quarter of it. You have a quarter of it? Right. Stay there. Night Drift was almost level 49, so we had to sell a few more skulls in hopes that it will just tick them over to the next level. Right, I'm only gonna sell this captain skull, okay? I've sold one skull. You sold I'm gonna sell this one. All right, check what it is. Is it there yet? It did. Yep, let's go buy let's go buy your level. Woo. Now that Night Drift was level 49, all we had to do was purchase one single level from Lorena. Then head into the Order of Souls tent to purchase all remaining promotions up until level 50. With that out of the way, it was time to move over to the Merchant Alliance. We dropped our Order of Souls emissary to raise the merchant. The next goal for us was to level the merchant emissary to level 5. This would allow us to sell all merchant loot to the highest multiplier, maxing out XP and gold earned. And what better way to do so was a super fast lost shipment voyage. Out of all the emissaries in the game, merchants is one of the fastest to be leveled to grade 5. You unlock lost shipment voyages at merchants level 35. Using these voyages could potentially get you to grade 5 within minutes. Grabbing the crates in the flotsam, finding the key, and placing the loot on board can push you to grade 5 very quickly. With the voyage complete, we headed back to the outpost to finally make Night Drift a pirate legend. Again, we had to be very precise with the amount of merchant loot we sold, as we needed it for the next pirate. With hopefully the right amount of loot set aside, we started the sale. That should, that should be, be 49. Yep, 49. Hey, let's buy that last level. And that was it. All that there was left to do is purchase the remaining level, promotions, and our first player can accept the Shanty of Legends. You Just leave it. Lovely. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. I don't need to put on the Pirate Lord hat. Oh, pirate Lord, okay. <laughs> right. Just right. the Pirate Lord hat. That's it. Okay, so you collect Speak your Shanty. This lovely person. Accept the Shanty of Legends. You get it? There you go. We have a new pirate legend. Congratulations, Night Drift. Thank you. And you can go. You can walk through the portal. You're now a pirate legend. Yep. We must uh, end our journey here and progress on to the next non-pirate yep. legend. <laughs> next person. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. With our first pirate legend of the day, it was time to continue. Next! Once again, we recruited a random pirate onto the ship. This time, it was a pirate by the name of Mad Dog Max. Max's levels were 51 Gold Hoarder, 40 Merchant, and 42 Order of Souls. Just remember, we are only taking our pirates to level 49, as they can purchase the remaining level from Lorena, which meant we only needed 9 levels in Merchant and 7 levels in Order of Souls. The good news is, because we've been stacking loot, the snowball effect now comes into play. With us stacking everything and only selling the required loot to bump our pirates to level 40, since we finished our last pirate on Merchant, it was only smart to keep the Merchant Grade 5 raised. And because we had a little bit of loot left over, we could bump him to 49 right now. Right, what's your levels? 47. Oh, ooh, two more. <laughs> we need two more. <laughs> I think we've got enough on there. Yeah, I, over halfway. Oh, yeah. Here, this isn't good at all. There's only two pieces left. Are you serious? Oh, damn. These final two pieces of merchant loot we had only took Max close to level 48, so we had to get back on the ship and continue grinding world events. Skelly fleet events are one of my favorite in the game. You get a nice amount of loot for each faction and even a few ritual skulls if you ever decide to do the Fort of the Damned. At this point, we should really start stacking loot again as we've run dry on merchant. With the fleet event complete, we decided to complete another lost shipment voyage. Even though we now had enough merchant on board to take Max to 49, we decided to do another lost shipment voyage. This would 100% give us enough merchant for Max and some left over 
for our next pirate who joins us on board. Seriously, if you haven't done these lost shipment voyages, you should really give them a go. A super chill voyage, no PvP required, and it takes around 10 minutes to complete. Back to the outpost we go. All right, uh, let me sell a few of these. All right, yeah. pick up, sell one. Let's sell five. I check your level. Yeah. Are you 49? Yeah, 49. Yeah, 49, right. Uh, let's go buy levels and promotions and move on. With Max now 49 in merchants, he could now buy level 50 and all his promotions. Time to flip the flag and go back over to Order of Souls. We were once again ready to go with an Ash and Winds world event spawning near us on Wanderer's Refuge. That was our next destination. Luckily for us, the Ash and Winds is one of the fastest world events in the game to complete. I previously held the world record for this event at 58 seconds, but have now been beaten by a crew finishing in only 46 seconds. But don't worry, I'll get that record back. Since we only had a grade 1 Order of Souls, we had to push that to grade 5 pretty quickly. One Ash and Winds world event isn't enough to do so, so we had a little more to do before we could take Max back to the outpost and celebrate becoming a pirate legend. We didn't even notice, but we had a Reaper Galleon heading straight for us. And rather than make the super smart decision and run, I decided to do something a little different. Right, I think these guys are a Reaper 3, so they've got to have just a little loot on board. Um, I think we should attack them. Let's just, let's just attack them and get it over and done with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we should attack these guys. Yeah, uh, famous last words. Right, guys, take it away. Attack, attack, attack. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> Sumo, drop seals, drop seals. I'm off the ship. Uh-oh. <laughs> no! We've gone already, yeah. Yeah, I think, I think we just sank. I think we just sank. Have you been one balled, sank your ship, or even have no idea how you died? Unsure if it was even your fault that you sank? Concerned about blaming others? Now, there is no need to worry. The sinking excuse hotline will teach you how to blame others correctly, with absolutely no effect on your ego whatsoever. Keep your ego intact! For a risk-free quality excuse service, call us free on 555 It Wasn't Me. If you don't make the call, others will blame you. Whose bright idea was it to attack those guys? What do you mean? You said attack them and I agreed with you. Look, Sumo, let's not get wrapped up in the small details. I just shouldn't have listened to you at all. It was you that said attack them in the first place. Yeah, Sumo seems to have forgotten that I can edit videos. We should not attack these guys. This is a really, really bad idea. Yeah, 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 I think we should attack these guys. Yeah, 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 I think we should attack these guys. Ha ha ha, sucker. With Sumo sinking us, we had to get back as quick as possible. We just lost our entire loot stack. If I could ballpark it, I think we'd lost just over 1 million gold. And we really needed it back. With having so much loot, it took them a while to put it all in their ship. And now with them sailing around in the same location, it was time to fight them again for it all. Right, let her rip, let her rip. Sumo, could you take down that mid-mast? Aim for the mid-mast. That's it, mad dog. That's it. Keep going. Keep going. Mid-mast down. Let's go, Sumo. Oh, oh. Oh, they cracked my helm. They cracked my helm. Watch them one balls, Sumo. Watch them one balls. All right, I'm rotating. I'm rotating. Hatch him back, mast. Oh, I got knocked off. I got knocked off. Get the mermaid now. Get the mermaid now. Oh, we creaking. All right, back mast almost up. Right, huge broadside, guys. Huge broadside. Sumo, chain shot mid mast. Nice chain shot, Sumo. Mid mast going down. Oh, I'm about to die. Oh, that was lucky. Right, this is it. I've got a uh, mast in my way. Aim low, aim low. Aim low. Right, I'm going to hop on cannon. Yo, I think these guys they are nose diving. Losing. Shoot low, shoot low, shoot low. They're coming in. They're coming in. They're coming in. Keep going, keep going. Right, I'm going for a board. I'm going to go for a board. Hold on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. Oh, Anchor going go, down. Go, 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 go. Keep fucking. You know, they're fucking yeah. like crazy. They're about to sink. They're about to sink. They're down, they're down. They've sunk. They've right. sunk. My dog Sumo, let's go. <laughs> what a fight. It's incredibly tense fighting over so much loot, but we just secured everything we lost. Unfortunately, during our sink, we lost our Order of Souls emissary, so we had to go back to the outpost and put it back up. Even experienced players sink in this game. The more you sink, the more you learn, and the more you learn makes you a more confident player in Sea of Thieves. So rather than always running away from a fight, it might do you some good to take more fights head on. 
Now that we had our emissary raised again, we started an Order of Souls voyage. When reaching grade 5 in one of the three primary factions, you are rewarded an emissary quest. For the Order of Souls, these are high value skull voyages, so it was a great way for us to level to grade 5 again. With a lot more skulls on board, we headed down south to the outpost, but on the way, another crew had activated a ghost ship voyage, which spawned right in front of us. With us needing more skulls, we decided to be super helpful and completed for them. While this effectively is the same event as Flameheart version 2, this voyage can be triggered by the player and is much shorter than its equivalent world event. Now that this foggy fleet event was complete, we once again hit grade 5 order of souls. Back to the outpost to make another pirate legend. This should be it now. Right, check your levels, check your levels. I've got yeah. one more to sell. No. Oh, almost for it. Oh, right, let me sell this one. That should be it now. That should be it. 49. Way! Off to buy the levels. Let's go! We had made great progress so far. Max was about to become a pirate legend, and we had a huge stack of Order of Souls loot on board, ready for the next set of pirates. That dog over here. Speak to this lovely stranger. person. You have to accept the shanty of legends. This one. So, yeah, dragon. There we go. Yay. There we go. Congratulations, my dog. You are now a pirate legend. And that's another pirate legend for the day. Yeah. That was a lot of fun, Mad Dog. You, you basically got a sunk. It wasn't Sumo. It was it was actually you. So you deserve this pirate legend outfit. Come on, you're making us wait. You're making us wait. Change it, change it, change it. That's it now. You look gorgeous. <laughs> well, Mad Dog, our adventure ends here. We've got to go and find another pirate legend. Bring us another! The next pirate that joined the pirate legend boat was Scuba Duck. Scuba is a long-term player that plays Sea of Thieves every so often, so their levels were pretty good for us to begin with. 55 Gold Hoarder, 41 Merchant, and 47 Order of Souls. And guess what? We had enough loot on our boat to bring Scuba all the way to Pirate Legend. So first, we need to sell some Order of Souls and flip the flag over to Merchants. So we're just going to sell some of these skulls. Uh, we got to flip over to Merchant. Uh, we got to do a Merchant Voyage. Get to Grade 5, and then we come back and you're basically a Pirate Legend. Wow. Thank you. And now this is where it starts getting easy for us with all the previous loot stacks snowballing onto the next pirate. 49. 49? 49? Fantastic. Right. 49 and a tiny little piece of white. That's perfect. Okay. Right, Scuba Duck, follow me. With Scuba Duck now level 49, they had to buy one more level to 50, buy all the Order of Souls promotions, then it was on to getting a fast Merchant Grade 5 emissary. When we got back to the outpost with so many pirates playing on Community Weekend, the servers started to slow down. This caused us to sell loot at a slower pace to wait for it all registering. While waiting around for a bit, the servers eventually caught up and Scuba let us know he was now a level 50 merchant. It seems we sold a little bit more than we should have, but I'm going to blame Rare on this one. 50! So the server yeah. caught up, the server caught up! Right, Scuba Duck, follow us! With selling more loot than we should have, Scuba Duck was now level 50. This meant that there was no need to buy the extra level from Lorena, and the only thing left to do was buy all merchant promotions. So just speak to the mysterious stranger and accept the shanty of legends. Did you get it? I guess I did. Pirate legend shanty outfit and title. Thank you. <laughs> no problem at all, buddy. Now what you want to do is you want to get your instrument out, stand and we'll, we'll let here. you kick this one off. So if you stand right, right here. Okay, start playing. Yeah, there keep we going. Go. There we go. There we go. Oh. Yeah, Scuba Duck, you are now a pirate legend. Cool. Let's just go to the dungeon. That is, that is dramatic. <laughs> there we go. It's cool, isn't it? <laughs> we hope you've enjoyed the seals today, Scuba Duck, but unfortunately we have to go. We have another pirate legend to make. Three pirate legends down and two more to go. Mm, transition. For our fourth pirate legend, we went over to a brand new Sea of Thieves player. I think he went by the name Fuzzy Bond. I, I don't know. I can't really remember. But we let this guy pick our next pirate legend victim. Yeah, guys. Uh, you know UK. You know the, the, the most famous pirate legend video on YouTube. Pirate legend six hours. UK. He's in the chat. You guys know UK. You're not a pirate legend and you want to become one. UK is your go-to person. Just post your levels and let him know. It's really strange, this Fuzzy Bond guy must actually be well known, because within a few seconds we had ourselves our future pirate legend. Vanomina has entered the crew. Hello! Ahoy! Unfortunately, he wasn't able to get us a print screen of his levels, but the good news for us is, 
All he needed was a few levels in order of souls. So we unloaded the boat with skulls and started sailing. Thank you, yep. my sergeant. Pick up, some, pick up a chest of skulls. And let's go. Yeah, hopefully you only need like six of these. So we'll just sell the six and see what level you get to. Yeah, after that sell, what level are you? Yeah, I'm level 49 now. Like literally at the end of 49. So right, almost... follow me, follow me. Okay, okay. Let's go buy your level. Once again, buying the last level needed and all promotions for the Order of Souls, he was ready to accept the Shanty of Legends. But we had one small problem. Venom was 50 Reapers, 50 Gold Hoarders, and 50 Order of Souls, to which we quickly realized he didn't own all of the Reapers promotions. So we had to make a pit stop at Reapers Hideout. Okay, I got it. Awesome, right, let's set sail for Golden Sands. Ah, uh, it worked, there we go. Yeah, there we Yay! go. Thank you. Oh, and okay. then basically just play any song and it changes to Pirate it? Legend. There we go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> this is the fourth time we've done this today and it doesn't get boring at all. Welcome to Pirate Legend. Thank you. All right, let's go. Yep, oh, let's yeah. see that, let's see that Pirate there. Legend outfit. Oh, there you go. And with four Pirate Legends complete, it was time to move on to the final player of the day. Oh, it's Hatch! Our last pirate of the day was Serpentine. Believe it or not, he's actually a day one pirate that just never got around to completing Pirate Legend. But he's with us today, and this is our main mission. Serpentine's levels were 50 Gold Hoarder, 43 Merchant, and 42 Order of Souls. Needless to say, for years he's been super close, but we just had enough loot on board to push him the rest of the way. I've been around since day one that I found more enjoyment out of helping other people. Oh, okay. Get their own loot. Right, so just like we're doing today then? <laughs> and selling my own stuff. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Well, you're a day one. Look at that day one eye patch. Day one catch. And yeah. no pirate legend. Well, sir, we are going to make you a pirate legend today. <laughs> we're going to turn it's... you into a pirate legend. Yeah, right. Serpentine, follow me. With Serpentine only needing six levels, this was going to be an easy one as we had so much loot on board. Right, do you want to check your levels again just to see what that did for you? Sounds good. Seems to have jumped me to 45. Ooh. Right. Ooh. More loot. That's some <laughs> more movement. We need more loot. We sold some more loot, waited a little as there was still a heavy amount of people playing the game. The servers were still slightly sluggish, but eventually they updated and gave us some good news. 50. Dude, yeah. just jumped me from 46 <laughs> to into 50. Okay, so you know, something was Oh, loot. it might be delayed. I, this It's probably going to end up sending us to like 52 now. Let's go to Merchant and buy the levels. Now with Serpentine owning all the merchant promotions, there was one last thing we needed to do. Get an Order of Souls Grade 5 flag. For this, we decided to use a Ghost Sleep Voyage, as they can push you up to around Grade 3. But on the journey up, a Skelly Sloop was on our left. This was good news for us, as just sinking the Sloop will reward us with Emissary. Along with putting any Order of Souls loot on board will give us that small bump we need. This was the last event we had to complete for the day, and completing this would also give us our final Grade 5 flag. Now we head back to Golden Sands to make our last Pirate Legend. We let Serpentine sell the remainder of our Order of Souls loot, which pushed him immediately up to level 50. Finishing off by purchasing the remaining promotions, I'm making our last Pirate Legend of Community Weekend. 50! Just into 50. 50. All right. 50. Let's go buy the levels. Yeah, let's go buy <laughs> the levels. Welcome to Power Legend. It's time to play the shanty. Oh, you can you uh, can start us off. You can start us off. Let's, let's see. Choo choose your instrument wisely. Yeah, choose your instrument wisely. Oh, there will never be anything better than the concertina. There oh. we go. Welcome to Pirate Legend. <laughs> <laughs> That's five years in the making. That's awesome, guys. Genuinely. This is uh, not my first voyage in here, but definitely my first person. <laughs> right? This is exciting. Make your way down to her, sir. <laughs> I do believe sir, I have quite the legendary look. Welcome to Pirate Legend. <laughs> it has truly been an honor and a ple <laughs> pleverage. Yeah, I'm sure it has. <laughs> An honor, a privilege. We, we uh, really hope you've enjoyed uh, the sale today. I, absolutely, it's it's been um, it's been an exciting adventure. Well, <laughs> sir, happy community day. Happy community and weekend. And happy community day as you as well. Right, it's, let's uh, go. It's time for a quick little further. Yeah, let's happy go. Happy five years. Happy five years of Sea of Thieves. And that's it. With the fifth anniversary of Sea of Thieves, we helped five players work towards the status of Pirate Legends. It's hard to believe that I have been playing this game for five long years, loving every minute of it. 
rare community weekend was the perfect way to celebrate this fantastic achievement. It's been such a long time since Sumu and I experienced achieving Pirate Legend for the first time, and it was an absolute pleasure being a part of this journey. And I really hope you enjoyed this story. My name is UK, and I'll see you in the next video. Right, lads, we've had one hell of a community weekend. See you, thieves. Happy fifth anniversary. Chug, 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 chug.